Okay, we're just going to go through a short video. We've just installed a hive uh, on a new boiler installation. Um, just to explain how to use it, uh, it's not an in-depth video, but it's just so you can use this thermostat. Um, we're going to be using this one as a standalone, so there, there is no app or anything like that. It's literally just controlling the heating uh, from the thermostat uh, on this. The hot water button at the top isn't used on this particular one because it is a combi boiler, so there's no need for that. But obviously, if you've got a twin channel one, uh, it will have heating and hot water control. On the top of the thermostat, you've got two buttons. You've got hot water and heating. That might more sense when we go into it a bit later on, but those, those are both boost buttons. If you've got a, a combi boiler, the hot water button will be redundant. You won't need that. We'll come to that in a sec. As you look at the high thermostat at the moment, you can see that it's asleep, it's not on. When you come up to it, if you press any button, it will come awake and show you what we've got. So at the moment, you can see that the temperature in the house at the moment is 18.3 degrees, and the target that we're looking for is seven degrees. It will keep going off and it gets annoying, but it's just conserving battery life. So if I keep pressing it, it's just because of that. Um, at the top here, You've got the, the day and the time, and you've got the bar of the day that scrolls across, which will make more sense when we go into the schedule. So when you set a schedule, that bar will move along to uh, show what part of the day we're at. And then on the right top corner, uh, again, if you've got the hot water version, you'll have hot water and heating. Obviously, we've only got heating on this one, so you can see there that you've got the symbol uh, for heat, which is the line with the heat waves coming off it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into it, give you a brief overview of how to use it so that if you've, you know, once we've installed it and gone through it with you, you might think, oh, what did he say about that? You can always refer back to this video and it'll give you a bit of a heads up on just how to get you up and moving. We are going to do other videos on how to use it. It's just that we've been asked by a couple of customers to do this. So moving into it, we've got a button on the actual dial and the dial obviously moves the temperature up and down or anything else that you're into. And then you've got three buttons along the bottom here. Uh, the middle one is the menu button. When it lights up, it means it's in play. If it's not lit up, it's not in play. We've got a tick button, which will glow green, which is a confirm button, um, which will make sense in, in it shortly. And then we've got a back button, which glows red when that's in play, and that will just take you back from whatever menu you're in. And then obviously we've got the two boost buttons on the top, which we mentioned earlier. The right-hand one is the heating boost, uh, and we'll come into that in a sec. So if we press it and we bring it on, we're going to go into the menu firstly. Uh, we've got heat, holiday and settings. So if we go into settings first, and we go into there, we're only just going to briefly skim through them. You've got frost protection, which is just that. Clip into that and you can alter that temperature. I mean, just do what it says on the screen, basically. If you want to change that frost prote protection temperature to 12 degrees, literally all you do is do that and press the, uh, press the button to confirm it. We're not going to do it at the moment, but... That's how you can set that. Then you've got the child lock. So if I press the child lock and we go into there, again, just do what it says on the on the screen and that'll lock it, stop uh, any ch uh, children messing with it. And then we're going to go back. So that's settings taken care of. We're going to go into holiday. Again, it is just that. You can set up the holiday period um, so that if you go away, you can have that to come off on that one there. Obviously, if you've got the app and connected to the app, you probably wouldn't need that function, but it's there if you need it, if you've got it in standalone or whatnot. So if you come back out of there, we've got heat. Now this is the one you're probably gonna go into more often. So if we press that, you've now got schedule, manual and off. Now, if you remember your old timer, uh, a lot of the old timers, they had like a slide uh, and you would have timed, constant and off or on and off and you know something like that. It's exactly the same. You've just got schedule, manual, off, and by moving the uh, dial, you can move into them. Off's nice and simple. That's in the summer. If you press the button now, that will turn the heating off. Press the tick, and you can see the heating is now off. It just won't come on at all. So we go back into it again, go into heat. Now we've got manual. So manual can be used in situations like Christmas or if you're off work ill or whatnot, you can just press manual and then literally turn the temperature to what you want using the dial, and you can see it will constantly be on and it'll go until it reaches that temperature and just keep the house at that temperature all the time. Um, so that might be usable. And then if you go back into it again, we're gonna go into schedule, which is the one that uh, I want. Go into schedule, and then obviously you've got these three options. So uh, 
resume is if we go into what's already set. We're going to go into view and edit, the middle one. And we're going to pick a day. So we're going to go into Monday. This is Monday's schedule. And obviously, you can set the same schedule for every day of the week. Or you can have them completely different, whatever you want, whatever suits your lifestyle. So as you can see there, through that one particular day, uh, it comes on at 6 in the morning till quarter past 7. The in-between bit is 7 degrees, which is the snowflake. And then from 5.30 till 9, it'll be at 20.5. So what we're going to do is... Let's say we're not happy with that, we want to change it. So we can move any of these blocks with times and any of these temperatures. So if we click on it, whatever's flashing is what you can alter. So if we press it again, it'll zoom into that. We can alter the time to have it come on a little bit earlier. If we want to change the temperature, we click, press the button and alter that to whatever we want it to. Press that and so on. It'll go through the day and move along that. So, you know, in the middle of the day, we might want that block there to be a bit warmer than that so if we press that till it's flashing and then we just alter that you can set it to whatever you don't have to have it at seven degrees you can set it to i think uh, mine i've got it at 12 degrees so i know that my house will never drop below that temperature through the night in case we have a, a cold snap um moving on through this 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 thermostat you've got to take it that it's on all the time it's not like your old conventional ones where you'd have it on and off the easiest way i can explain it is it's always on but the old fashioned offs are like your eco, so you set them to temperatures that you don't want your house to drop below. Uh, the on times, call them comfort, they're the, te the temperatures that you want where you feel comfortable at when you, when you are at home. And that's probably the best way to explain it. So we've gone through setting of the day. So let's say we've gone through all of those and we've set up the day of how we want it. And then literally we're going to, we've got the tick, we're going to say yes. And it, would ask, it will ask you, rather than going through every single day, which could take a lot of time, It'll ask you if you want to copy that to other days. Now, if you want every day the same, it's nice and easy because you'll press yes and then you'll just copy it to each. You'll select every single day of the week. If you want Saturday and Sunday different, you'll pick Monday to Friday and then go into your Saturday, alter that, come back out and it'll give you the option to do Saturday and Sunday. But as it stands at the moment, that schedule's already there. So we're not going to go into that. So we're going to come out. So that's that's it. Now, we've, let's say we've got a schedule set up for the whole of our week. Um, we can go into resume and we can... Now that will be set to actually come on at those times that we've we've set. So we'll press that and we're away. And you can see at the moment, it's the heating's on. Um, we're on our schedule and we're moving along the blocks that we've set. Now you can alter it. So if we're in this block at the moment that finishes at two o'clock, you can see that it's now just coming up to 10 to two. So what we can do is we can just, just alter it manually and it will actually bring it on for that chunk. Now, just be careful if you're doing this, because obviously if I turn the heating on now for this chunk to 20 degrees, obviously this chunk finishes at two o'clock, so it will revert to the lower ch uh, chunk at two. So literally it would be on for 10 minutes. So a better option is the boost function. So uh, if we just say, right, we're on heat, we're on heat, we're on schedule, and we've gone into that, so, we're in there so literally let's say we want to boost the heating you've got the boost button for your heating if you press that you can go from 30 minutes press it again right the way up to six hours and that will boost the time uh, the heating and it won't affect any of your times and then obviously you can change the temperature for that period so you can see it's counting down there because i boosted it for six hours you might just want to catch a movie so you might want to just boost that for so if you do keep pressing it to whatever you want you can leave it, you don't have to press the tick confirm and it will give you the two hours. So if I just leave that, it will count down from the two hours. So if you're catching a movie, that's good enough. Um, obviously, if you want to cancel that, literally press it again and you can go right the way up to six. And then once more, and it's the off and you can either leave it or confirm it and that will cancel the boost. Obviously, you can see it's on at the moment because we've put it on. So that's pretty much um, the boost function. So that's quite a useful one. And the same function is available for the hot water if you've got a conventional boiler. So everyday use, literally menu button, heat, holiday settings. We're going to press heat, schedule manual off. So you can use that to put it on. We want to put it on schedule, view and edit. And then we can go into a day, tick confirm. And you can go into that particular one. So if we want to, we're going to go into heat, schedule, start over. So this is basically if you get into a bit of a pickle and you want to change all your times, which you may have to do on this one now because I've messed with it. 
you can press that and it'll go into as if it's just been factory fitted so we press the door to continue this when you see it there you've got energy efficient and comfort you may see this if you if you've set it up from the start and obviously you just pick which one you want to so that's pretty much it on the back normally this will be if we've fitted it generally we fit them to the wall so they have like a little tab underneath um with like a battery symbol on it and to take it off the wall literally you press the tab that'll pop forward you unhook it and on the back you've got two lugs there that will hook off you can see there it's got four batteries in it they're just double a batteries if you do get the battery symbol pop up which is a little red neon here just change the batteries and away you go uh, and i think that's pretty much it you've got the option to change this fascia if you want to and you can get any color that you looks do and you can get them off the internet as well as the stand and you can change that customize it if you want to so it matches your wall colors other than that it's just a brief video just to show you get you know get get you get to grips with it um how it works and how you know just to get you going we'll do some more up-to-date videos on how to use the app and stuff like that so if you have got that function it just gives you that heads up to you know just to get you started really with it um, and that's it. So uh, that's just a short little video just to keep customers happy on how to use it, get you started. Thanks very much.